Good morning everyone, morning fish. So this is my first uh, vlog video as it were. So we've got a couple of things that I wanna do in the fish room this morning. Uh, and the first thing is actually, I just gotta check all of the aquariums. So I just put some rapashi food in with the plecos last night and um, I put quite a bit in. So I just gotta make sure that they've eaten it all and I'll just take out anything which is left. And I'm gonna just close all the curtains in this room because otherwise it's just gonna get glare and only be able to see me. So two seconds. So we got a little bit left over in the zebra pleco aquarium. So I'm just gonna get that out. These guys, they're quite piggy sometimes, but I did put quite a lot in there yesterday. So we're just gonna get that bit out. Leopard frogs seem to have done okay. Nothing to get out of here. There's one of them there. My L471s, there's literally nothing left over. I can always count on these guys to consume anything and everything I put in their aquarium. So they're all looking good, nothing to get out of there. Okay, right, so now we're getting to the main part of the video, which is sorting out these Blue Dream shrimps. I've got 30 which are being sold today, so I'm just gonna be popping them in this box, just making sure I'm comfortable with the quality of what I'm sending out. Um, and then I'll pack them up in their box got Samara over there ready to fill back up into this aquarium so let's get to this right got all the bags ready for when I start plopping them in essentially 10 in a bag so let's start sorting okay so all the wait a minute let me put a light on so in here there's 30 which are ready to go I just need to sort through them essentially what I do is this is my breeding stock in here so these are all the ones I keep for breeders and um, essentially when they're really young and tiny little shrimplets, you can see there's one in there I need to catch out on the side. I move them out into here and you can see there's a few shrimplets in there which I've moved out um, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I'll be sorting these ones to be sold and uh, we'll just make sure that um, only, the, only the good stock actually goes out. So uh, let's do that. Okay, so I've popped a macro lens on here. So this is the first one I've just grabbed out. What I'm looking for is it to have a nice dark blue body. I don't want any of uh, transparency in there. So you can see there's a little bit at the bottom, but that's expected in these. And that's hardly unrecognizable if you're looking at this with your uh, standard eyesight. I've actually got the macro lens on so we can really get in. And so I'm looking for the legs to have a bit of blue in them. And uh, so this one's good to go. So I'm just gonna put this one in the bag. Here's the rest of the nine for the first bag. So here's the next batch. Um, there's one in here I'm not happy with, so it's gonna come out and go back in with the mutts. I'll uh, quickly show you that one now. So this is one of the shrimps which hasn't made it. So you can probably see on its abdomen, it's got like, it's going clear right near to the top. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm sure most people would probably sell that as a Blue Dream shrimp, but that's not acceptable to me. Uh, so that one hasn't made a cup. So it's just gonna stay in this tank with all the other mutts, but, and it will never, never be sold, that one. It's gone out of focus a bit, so I'm using the macro lens again. So we've got the last batch in here, so we're just gonna pop them in the bags and then get them bagged up. So when transporting shrimp, you'll find that they can get stressed out if they haven't got anything to hold on to. So I'm just gonna put some water safe mesh in there, which they can hold on to while they're being transported. I'm getting these off to their new homes now. There's still loads left in here. Um, but yeah, off these go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it kind of interesting to see what I get up to 
on a typical day in the fish room. Uh, if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.